We're going to spend a weekend with the Budweiser King and the boys. We're going to see what it is, win, lose, or draw, what it's like to go through an entire weekend. Why don't you join me? You know, I was thinking, it's 4.15. We've been working on this thing since 10 o'clock. This is our first opportunity to go out and qualify. I think you guys should join us guys out on the track. Mister, how'd you feel? We got to do some work. Make okay, it better. It's not bad for first run. Make it better. Got to make it better. It at least went from one end to the other, but it dropped a couple of cylinders at the other end. So it's, like I say, a mediocre run, but it's a starting point. So his altitude's a little tricky up here. Very it? difficult. The hardest place to run in the country. Very difficult to run up here. Darkness falls in Denver. Up ahead, it's thunder on the speedway as qualifying continues. After hours of tweaking, the Butt King is poised and ready to rumble. record at 4.88 seconds at around 296 miles an hour. Well, things are going pretty good here at Denver. Today, we have to obviously get ready to race in the conditions we're going to be running in on Sunday afternoon. That's the heat of the day, and that's the toughest. Hopefully, we can repeat what we did last night. If we did that in the heat of the day, that'd be a fantastic run. We got our work cut out for us, but we're sure having fun at Denver right now, by all means. While the crew prepares for the day ahead, Kenny and crew chief Dale Armstrong give me a crash course. Call it drag racing, 101. This little button right here is the most important thing I have. Then maybe open the parachute. Oh, okay. <laughs> we get the stop. I went to the pub yesterday. I went to get some stop fuel. They didn't have it. Yeah, yeah, well, they don't sell that stuff in the pub. Hey, let's talk about some safety sure, stuff, huh? Right you know, if I got in a fight with one of these, <laughs> you can I would be <laughs> invincible. If this is the top part of the, of the suit. Obviously, it's multi-layer thick. Well, it's nitromethane with a little bit of methanol in it. And that's where the power comes from. So this is really the only gauge in the car at all that we have. All right, man. Thanks. Take care, Take buddy. Care. Despite the hours of preparation, things do not go well on Saturday. Fortunately, Kenny's record still stands. The Butt King remains the top qualifier. Well, it's Sunday morning, and uh, obviously it's race day. You can lose early here in the first round. You're out of here at what we call the 1105 Express, and that's no fun at all. Believe me, I hope today uh, the ride you get to take with us goes all day long. second round of racing on Sunday now and uh, we didn't run that well in the first round we tried to soften it up because of the track conditions and it fell off pretty good so we're a little bit of what we call our backs are against the wall for Kenny Bernstein it's got to be a disappointment he smoked the tires well, about so, 300 feet off the starting line in just a few seconds it's over three grueling days and in the blink of an eye, elimination. For Kenny and the crew, it's a weekend of memorable performances and crushing reality. But as the Budweiser King racing team heads down the road, the need for speed lies just around the corner. This town is, is great. This fits? Yeah, <laughs> is that me or what? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm dying here. I'll tell you what. Go, Kenny. Go, baby. Hey, Tony, how'd you like to hack up that one? You're going to send me some brains. 
Beautiful morning. It's morning here in Aspen. Coming out with uh, my good friend, Mr. Bernstein, for a walk. I don't think my butt's ever moved this fast. <laughs> So how important is it for you to keep in shape during the racing season? Well, I think it's really important. I'm not so sure that it's so important that it makes you drive any better, but it sure makes you feel better, you know? Make you better, feel better up top Absolutely. here? Absolutely, mentally better. Mentally sharp, something very important. I think then when you get in a tough situation, maybe you got something to pull back on. Good, good. How often do you do this? I try to do it every single day. Sometimes you can't because you're busy, made meetings go on and racing and so on, but no question about it, at least five, six days a week. I go up to four or five miles every day. <laughs> I'm having some real problems. <laughs> Twister! Getting a hold of the truck! <laughs> I can't shake my booty that quick. Twister's taking a break. You know, I don't know what you're doing, but this is feeling good. You go out, touch me some brains. Wake me up, wake me up. Touch me some brains. I was out there riding with Benny, and I call him Benny, Bernstein Benny. And uh, he couldn't keep up with me. He whipped me like a dog. Come on, sit he down. He whipped me like a dog. Come on, sit down. He's here first. Look at the sweat. You're looking Feel good. Feel good. I was fun having oh, you this morning. Say what, 30? 402. You're 30, aren't At you? least 402. 30? 31. 31. Absolutely. 31. For 31 years old, this man knows what he's doing. <laughs> we got to keep in shape. Yeah. We're here in uh, Aspen, Colorado. Some yeah. finest you know shots you got? Street shot is. shots. Do you know where Dean Street is? Dean? Carlton? No, you know where the airport is? Ritz Carlton? Ritz Carlton. Go right to that corner and turn right. Okay, take two here. We were just interrupted minorly by some... Local, 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 local. Lo, no, local Kenny <laughs> fans. Anyways, we're here in Aspen, Colorado. Great place. From what I understand, some beautiful shops here. What do you got for us? Oh, man, you're going to love it. I, I, I want to make sure one thing, though. That, that pocketbook's plenty big, isn't it? Because they're beautiful shops and great clothes and great boots, but uh, they're a little bit expensive. A little bit pricey? I, I love Aspen. I've been here for, what, 10, 15 minutes. I've met 1,001 people, and they, everybody knows who Kenny is. Just like these people right here. They're asking for directions. You know who they ask? They ask the man. The man who knows the speed. Here's the deal, Tony. We're going to go shopping. I hope your back pocket is good and thick. We might want to leave the girls at home, too. But let's go see what it's all about. Uh, eat to your pop, shop to your pop, and stuff like that, buddy. Honey? No. What do you think? Those were those me or what? Sure. What do you think? Is that me? Yeah. What do you think? Is those me? <laughs> you're buying here. Yeah. Buying it's on my card today? That's your card. Oh, I'm in trouble. And we're going to go right over to that store, right across the street. I love this. So, don't embarrass me. Okay, I'll okay. try not to. Uh, range price is up to about 2222 $2, Oh, I think we're not going to fit in these. No. Mm, tight's good, but not in boots. Hey, if the alligator knew we were selling him this cheap, he'd be crying. <laughs> well, it looks like I want 1500 bucks, so I think it's about time. We mosey on out of here. I've been given the opportunity to ride Kenny's bike, and I'm telling you, this is a uh, this is a beautiful piece of. You got to understand, though. And remember, this is a 301 bike. Can you go 301 on a bike? I I don't even <laughs> want to try. <laughs> what about we off to today? Well, you know, we're going to head up in the maroon country, maroon bells up in there, the lake and stuff. You think, you think you're going to be able to get me off your bike when we're done this? No, you probably I just might no, just keep no. on going. No, right? I, I figure you'll end up in Canada with it. Oh, the possibilities <laughs> are endless. I think well, I've got I'm dressed for it. You I think are. I'm ready you're to ready, go buddy. It. You're in business. How about we uh, we take off, got him up, and all right, get her going. We're all right, here we go. I'm enjoying this. You know, you look at that. You look what we got here. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's funny. People see us doing this. They see you on your bike. They see the house. They see what? The good lifestyle you've got. But I think what they fail to understand is that you put your life in the line every time you jump in your car. Well, that's the truth. You do. There's no question about it, especially in motorsports. But, but hey, let's face it. This is what we love. Yeah, I'm do what you we want do. Turns me on. I like it. I don't know if the viewers can get the, the whole idea, the feeling of what it's like to be here. Hey, Tony, how'd you like to hike up that one? I'd love to. 
I mean, we're driving around. It's beautiful weather. It's great scenery. And it's, uh, you know, I can see why you live here. Like you know, when, when you get into your season, I mean, you're up to the hilt the whole time. You never have a break or anything. And we're the same way in racing. And when we get a week off to where we can come down, you know, this is the greatest thing in the world to come and do it. Above all, we're driving a pair of Harleys around. Yeah, you can't beat that. You know what? The chance you get me off this bike now, uh, now that I'm on it, it's not very good. <laughs> Denver. Denver? Denver. 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 We're in the Mile High Club. What happened to Aspen? We left? Well, we were in Aspen. We were doing a little bit of a show there. We left. Fun riding. Now we're doing the real thing. We have an opportunity here where we're doing something for charity. A great thing. You know, a great race. We're doing some great things for some, uh, some children who need to help. Oh, yeah. Kids for Courage. That's the name of this charity ride. And all my buddies out here, all these Harley guys, everybody's here. Paid a few bucks to come and give it to the kids and have a little ride and have a little fun. Proud to be with you. Hey, we want you anytime, buddy. Thanks for having me out. All right, man. The Kids for Courage Harley Ride is just one of Kenny's many charitable and public activities. This evening, Kenny is asked to carry the Olympic torch through the highways of Colorado, a move symbolic of a man who, for years, has been carrying the torch for racing fans everywhere. The Olympic torch, buddy. This is great. I'm honored to do this, and I'm honored that the Twister's with me, and I'm honored to be with you. That's a lot of honoring. <laughs> mile in Kenny Bernstein's shoes, and you'll know what it's like to be swamped, mobbed by fans. Powerful commercials like this one have helped enhance his visibility. Kenny Bernstein, Budweiser King, top fuel dragster. Who says you need wings to fly? Well, obviously, as you can tell, Drag racing offers one thing that most motorsports does not. In fact, none of them do. The fans can come into the pits at drag racing. Everybody comes into the pits. And obviously, part of our job as being the people we are is to take care of the fans as best we can. And we do. We try our best to sign as many autographs as we possibly can and make them happy. Obviously, you can't take care of everybody, but you sure try. Okay, this is the Bob and Tom Show, and, uh... Kenny, did we ever tell you that we put the app in professional? <laughs> hey, you're our drag racing king. We love you, KB. Thank you, baby doll. In these cars, when you're up on the starting line, you're getting ready to leave, you're definitely in a rocket ship. That's what it feels like. And uh, I would assume, I mean, I don't know what a rocket ship really feels like, but damn close to me, I can tell you that. <laughs> Thanks again from my heart to uh, the Anheuser Busch Brands and Budweiser. Thank you. Good ride, Kenny. Good ride, Good a lot ride. of fun. And you did a great job. You know why? Why? Well, you kept the rain away. <laughs> well, you know, I told you I keep the rain away. I ordered. I said, hey, God, I can't have rain. I can't have rain. That's it. So we didn't have rain. Can we get a comment about the ride from you? Excellent. Absolutely. A marvelous Fantastic. idea. Well, I drove up from Dallas. Kenny Bernstein, man. Because he's the king of speed. It was fun. It was a good time. Money going towards the children and uh, get to ride with Kenny and have a good time meeting new people. Part of the reason I got into it is because I'm a Kenny Bernstein fan. I think it's great for the kids and all these people showing up. It's good for the community. We just want to be part of it. Uh, Don came in from Missouri. I'm from Texas. I'm from all over to support the charity. Hey, 
hey, we raised a lot of money. What do you think we got together here? Oh, I don't know for sure yet. We'll take a tally it up here, but for the kids of Courage, whatever we did was great, and I know we want to thank you and I, all these motorcycle guys yes, coming in. Yes, I tell it. you what, it's a super trip. You bet. Yeah, it's very well put together. Well, it's good. We're going to make it bigger next year. Maybe you'll come back next year. You know what? I'd love to come back with you next year. Anytime. All right, man. All right. All right, guys. There's no chance of me getting in here, Kenny. Well, I don't think so either. Hold it, hold it. You can't do it. can't do it. Okay. Right. All right. Okay, hey, wait, let me see. Okay, kind of turn sideways. Can you turn, okay. turn your butt sideways? Okay. Keep sliding this one down, this one a little bit more. He got the steering wheel. <laughs> hold that, hold that. Okay. Put that foot down, can you? I can. Put that foot down right beside you. There we go. How do you drive this thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. He'll never get out. 300. I'm ready to go. to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. Okay. You guys are gonna have to, you have to pull me. Come on. Come on, guys. There we go. Yeah. Remind me not to become a racer. <laughs> <laughs> 